Hello beautiful Libras, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. We're getting ready to do a, a love reading. It is timeless, but it will be posted the third week for July. And we're going to see what your recent combined energy was with a person of interest. In the recent past, what was Libra feeling? What's the energy, please? The bottom of the deck, though. Eight of Cups. Somebody's walking away from something somewhere in this connection. All right. So the bottom of the deck energy is the Eight of Cups. Leaving something behind. That is not satisfying. Look at that. Scorpio energy. Libra. A very intense, loving feeling with your person of interest. We have cards popping out everywhere here. So we have, look at this, the star card. The current mutual energy is the star, really feeling as though this person could be the one. A very strong spiritual connection, Aquarius energy, very enlightened. You know, your shining star. Oftentimes the star card is, I call it the rock star card because it basically really speaks to the fact that you could both be, you know, in entertainment. Both of you are very, very successful in, in your careers and you're bringing this a very magical love together at this time. Your person views the situation currently as a relationship that they would like to invest in. We have the energy of how they see you. They feel as though you're at a crossroads, that you need to make a decision about something. In their heart space, they are feeling very nurturing, very kind, very loving, high priestess energy, very lot of love, a lot of love. This is hopes and dreams for love. That's after healing, but it's also very spiritual. It's being like you and your person feel that the other person is beautiful inside and outside. You know, we look and see your person and how they view the future with you. And it's just very, very small. It's a very, very, when we look at the page of cups, the page does not have their feet on the ground. The page of cups is the very stirrings of when you first look at somebody and feel something in your heart space. It's not advanced. It's still very, very immature. This person's, and it's, when we say immature, I mean, you know, like a, like a baby, right? A baby is not mature. They're young. They're youthful. They're tiny. They're tender. And that's what I see is a really sweet, sweet, tender energy between the two of you. Uh, in terms of love, but your person is not thinking that this is necessarily going to be a thing. Okay. Here we go. Donna does cards. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So the Ace of Wands is right here in the hidden energy between the two of you. I'm not going to take these. I'm just going to flip them back over and put them back in the deck. So what we do see here for you, though, is a lot of intense positive energy. So let's turn that over. Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands, a passionate new beginning. That is what is hidden. Both of you may want to keep the relationship very discreet. And that could also indicate a certain amount of celebrity or just the need, because you're in the public eye, um, to be quiet because the King of Cups is not talking. The uh, the Ace of, or the the High Priestess is not talking. And the, the passion is hidden. Okay. And she has her eyes closed. It's kind of like, we're just over here feeling all this passion. All right, so let's see what Spirit is recommending at this time for you. We have Temperance, remaining calm, cool, collected. This Temperance card has a big angel wing behind it, angel wings. So what we're seeing here is that somebody may have walked away in this relationship and there's a reconciliation. It does look as though you've both invested in this. So let's see what the outcome for the week is before we clarify. And we always clarify. So let's see what the energy for this week is. So spirit saying, reconcile your differences, be calm, cool, and collect a 10 of swords and ending. And ending and ending, two walkaways here. So let's see what the clarifiers are for the reading for you, Libra. You're feeling really defeated. So is your person, I mean, but we're going to look at that. Okay, so let's look at the energy of the Eight of Cups that's walking away for 
emotional reasons because you want more fulfillment but now we're in this situation of the walk away feeling very much like a betrayal of some sort all right so what was the eight of cups walk away what was that please what is the energy of the eight of cups in the recent past four of cups okay that's usually a card of just not being fulfilled four of cups says i'm bored i want more i'm looking in these cups they're empty however it does warn the cards are warning you that there is a lot of love here you're just not seeing it there is fulfillment to be had but you're not seeing it why is the king of cups here in the recent past the sun card really loving each other just having enjoying the moment just really having a lot of fun it's the happiest card in the deck when things are good between the two of you i don't think you've ever experienced a better relationship okay so why do we have the star card here for you oh <laughs> okay you know the, these cards dropped out of the deck right and what's on top the star oh <laughs> the star card is clarifying the star card oh look at this okay so the two of you have been public and you're dropping the burdens of trying to keep any of this secret but we do see temperance again i also get the hanged man and the ten of coins so what i'm seeing here for you is that both of you really felt this relationship was going places you know that's where you were but anyway i'm going to put those back in the deck so why do we have the seven of pentacles here we have the king of cups here again king of cups is wow you might be dealing with a scorpio or an on again off again relationship the other two cards that fell out were the queen of swords cutting something out that doesn't serve you eight of coins could be somebody that you worked with for some of you, you have an investment that's paying off right now. Something is really good coming into your life financially, and it looks as though you've earned every bit of it. I like it. So when I, when like I said, when I see other things in the, in the uh, reading, I will certainly pass them on. So why? What decision do you need to make? Why is that card here? Devil energy. Okay. Devil energy feeling really like this is not a healthy situation for you feeling as though there's no choice that you're allowed to make your person is in this moon energy smoky trails there's a lot there's just a real underlying um mystery here a lot of secrecy in this reading with the two king the scorpio kings are discreet so that's a mystery the high priestess is discreet that's a mystery so it does look as though your person also sees you as trying to control the situation now i'm not throwing shade i'm just telling you what the cards mean <laughs> but it does show that you feel that you're in shackles with this person it feels um imprisoning and you with this two of wands are supposed to be making a decision and so you're not making the decision to set yourself free though you're making a decision you're looking over at their toxicity or the secrets that they have this person is just not telling you anything libra 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 okay so why is this person a lightweight i look at this when pigs fly and there is a pig with wings and we know pigs don't fly your person sees this going somewhere and why would that be the case three of cups so they're keeping you in the friend zone to me to them you are friends with benefits that they've had a great time with you they respect you they think that you're incredible they think you're beautiful they love you down deep you love each other a great deal but they're keeping you in that friendship zone okay so nine of pentacles a desire to stay single all right so the ace of wands why is it here you're both both very passionate towards each other the passion is off the charts oh the six of coins the six of coins is not my favorite card it really means somebody who's wealthy who is standing in a in a place of status is giving some extra coins here like oh look at what i give you and it's not much 
Ace of Wands. So it does look like for some of you, and you can tell me in the description box below if you choose, the passion just may not, for whatever reason, it looks like somebody was holding back in terms of what they were willing to give passionately. It's an unusual. I never see those two cards together. Two of coins. There's a juggling. Okay. So the juggling is it does exist. It does show us that what you don't see is bothering you for good reason because this person's keeping it a secret. They're just not telling you anything at all, at all. Quiet, 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 quiet. All right. So Libra, here we have Spirit is saying you can go ahead and close out the cycle, that it may be time to do that. You know, to try to keep yourself calm, though. Spirit is really telling you that this is a good thing that's happening to you. The message is very much, this is not going to be fulfilling. Stay calm. Know that you may reconcile with somebody from your past or somebody. You're going to reconcile the bank book of spiritual love is what I'm seeing. The Spirit is saying, you know, we're right here. We've got gotcha, you. Got your back. Let this go. And by in the near future, by the end of the week, presumably, you absolutely walk away from somebody who couldn't give you the love that you wanted or needed, somebody who really wasn't honest with you, who stabbed you in the back, who you definitely feel is not trustworthy um, to find love. And it looks like you meet somebody right away, Libra. My God. The Ace of Cups after the Ten, clarifying the Ten of Swords. But you are off to find new love. You've given up the burdens you're just not going to be in this place and you are not putting up with any player energy the player energy is reversed knight of wands reverse comes out as a clarifier you know you've identified this person you felt that they were a good friend but now it's no no good friends don't do this is what you're feeling so the toxicity the devil energy is you know this person really the toxicity that i see is a secrecy and, and that was to be able to keep you in their life or to be manipulative with you. So I'm sorry that happened to you, Libra. But you have a big, bold future in love because what we see is a sun card. And even though it's in the recent past, you're really on a beautiful path right now. Star card, sun card, ace of cups. You have new love coming in. So let's look and see what the angel guides are saying. The, the earth angels are saying to stay grounded at this time, Libra. I just, it's so painful to watch another person's pain in a reading. All right, trust. Trust the universe, my friends. Just trust in life. Trust in yourself. Trust in your ability to be that rock star that you are. Go with the flow. You know, don't, don't fight City Hall if somebody says they want to walk away or that they need to be elsewhere. But I feel in this case, this person may, may have just disappeared. That moon card, you know. That's the call that never comes when they say, I'll be right back. All right, so your sight, set your sights higher. <laughs> so you're the star. Your person is not so much the star. You're the star here, Libra. That's not surprising. Libra's quite lovely, aren't you? Trust your instincts. Oh, you made a good move. So Libra, I'm going to leave it there and take care. Please leave comments. It was a joy being with you today. Thank you for letting me show you this video.